Number one, Allosaurus anax, a carnivore from the late Jurassic of Oklahoma, was formerly known as Saurophaganax maximus, meaning largest lord of the saurian eaters, so badass, but received a name downgrade because some of the fossils attributed to it were found to belong to other dinosaurs. Number two, Alka Karush was a large predatory dinosaur from Middle Jurassic Kyrgyzstan, that's in Central Asia for my geographically inept American viewers, and it possessed some of the most impressive eyebrows of any dinosaur, which were probably used for display. Number three, Archaeocursor from early Jurassic China was the most quote-unquote primitive member of its dinosaur lineage known from Asia, but don't tell it that because at only 3.3 feet long, it already has an extreme inferiority complex. Hello there fellow prehistory nerds, my name is Tyler, and because no one asked me to participate in this year's Paleo Rewind, which I'm not salty about at all, today we're talking about every dinosaur discovered in 2024. Now technically this video should be titled Every Non-Avian Dinosaur, yes, birds of dinosaurs don't at me, scientifically described in 2024, but actually discovered much earlier, but you probably wouldn't have clicked on that, now would you? Anyway, there's no reason to dawdle, as the greatest T-Rex hunter of all time once said, saddle up, let's get this movable feast underway. Number 4. Artitosaurus means burn saurian, not because it was the butt of every other dinosaur's joke, Jokes, that was obviously the size of a source, but because the fossil of this long-necked sauropod from late Jurassic Wyoming was badly damaged by a museum of fire in 2003. Number 5. Asia Tyrannus was a small cousin of Tyrannosaurus from late Cretaceous China, more broadly, Asia, and therefore probably has the most on-the-nose name of any dinosaur. Number 6. Bionosaurus was a stegosaur from Middle Jurassic China, and that's apparently significant because science hippies apparently suck at finding Middle Jurassic stegosaurus, as only 5 previously were known from this epoch. Number 7. Kalita Draco was a carnivorous abelosaur from late Cretaceous France, and as an abelosaur, its arms, which were likely used to hold its country's national flag, would have been so small that they would have given T-Rex an ego boost. Number 8. Campanenean, a sauropod from late Cretaceous Argentina, means air from Las Campas because as a sauropod it was full of hot air. That is, its skeleton would have been full of air sacs to keep it relatively lightweight despite its enormous size. Number 9. Unlike most other newly discovered dinosaurs, Chalcosaurus, a small herbivore from late Cretaceous Argentina, is known from multiple skeletons belonging to individuals from different ages, including two juvenile delinquents that were apparently sentenced to death by fossilization for crimes as yet unknown. Number 10. Coahuilasaurus, a duck-billed hadrosaur from the late Cretaceous called Mexico home at a time when North America was cut in half by a shallow inland sea, and the now landlocked state of Coahuila was beachfront property and didn't yet have Hollywood's yellow filter. Number 11. Comptonatus, which no, was not straight out of Compton, was a cousin of Iguanodon from England, and like its cousin, as well as all proper Englishmen, it drank its tea with its elongated and dexterous pinky up. Though its spiked thumb probably would have been far more impressive. Number 12. Dati, which is not to be used with your daddy, i.e. me, was an ankylosaur from Lake Cretaceous China and unique among the already so ridiculously overt armored that they had armored eyelids and kylosaurs, it had two horny projections protruding from its cheeks. Number 13. Dia Queen was a long-sided dromaeosaur, i.e. raptor, from Lake Cretaceous Argentina, and its name means bird of prey in the local indigenous language, hinting at its bird-like appearance, predatory habits, and that the scientists who named it, like me, worship Dr. Alan Grant and remember every quote he's ever said. Number 14. Dornraptor, which despite its name was not closely related to Velociraptor, lived in early Jurassic England, and despite only receiving a name last year, its fossil was first discovered in the 1850s, proving the only thing slower than me when it comes to making videos is the scientific process. Number 15. Ameliosaurus was a rhabdodontomorph, which is incredibly fun to say by the way, from early Cretaceous Argentina, and like most things named Amelia, it was a vegan, possibly feeding on podocarped, which is also very fun to say, trees it lived alongside. Eoneophron was a cassowary-like dinosaur with a parrot-like beak from the Hell Creek Formation of South Dakota and lived about 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous, which is significant because it means it lived alongside everybody's favorite iconic duo, Triceratops and T-Rex. Number 17. Fauna was a small herbivore from late Cretaceous Utah where it is believed to have been a burrowing animal, digging and hiding from predators as well as Mormon missionaries in underground holes. Number 18. At an estimated 46 feet in length, Ganda Titan from Lake Cretaceous China may not have been quite the titan its name suggests, seeing as other sauropods grew much, much larger, but it still would have dwarfed every animal alive in China today, perhaps aside from the overweight, dumpling loving dragon warrior. Number 19. Harina Draco from Lake Cretaceous Mongolia belonged to the family Troodontidae, whose members are considered among the smartest of all non avian dinosaurs and may have even been smarter than many modern birds, as well as the vast majority of the human species. Number 20. With a name meaning Western Claw, you might have expected Hesperonyx to have been a massive carnivore with terrifying talons, but alas, I am here to crush your dreams once more. It was merely a small plant eater from late Jurassic Western Portugal. Number 21. Was Xiao Jialong, and believe me, I had to Google how to pronounce that one, was a 20-foot-long ankylosaur from late Cretaceous China that, like many ankylosaurs, wield a formidable-looking tail club which may have been used for defense against predators or to beat the ever-loving crap out of other members of its own species. 
Number 22. Hypnovenator was a troodontid from early Cretaceous Japan, and its name means sleep hunter, as it was found doing something apparently common in Japanese culture, sleeping on the job, i.e. it died while sleeping and then fossilized in its sleeping position. Number 23. Inuentu from Lake Cretaceous Argentina was a sauropod, and it showed several convergent similarities to other distantly related sauropods, like everyone's favorite paleo meme of a dinosaur Nyshirsaurus, such as a wide, squared off snout that was deflected strongly downward. Number 24. The holiest and jolliest dinosaur on this list, Jingiaella, was a sauropod dinosaur from Lake Cretaceous China that was originally named Jingia before it was found the name was preoccupied by what else? A mother frickin' moth. Number 25. Kia Cursor was a small dinosaur from early Cretaceous Mother Russia, and its second metatarsal, a foot bone, was found to be significantly reduced, something also observed in modern ostriches, suggesting Kia Cursor was capable of moving high speeds to have run the spread of the evil capitalist agenda. <laughs> Number 26. Culkin, an abelosaur from Lake Cretaceous, Argentina, lived alongside its very close relative, Carnotaurus, but seeing as both dinosaurs were large carnivores, it's unlikely they would have been frequently inviting each other for family dinner. Number 27. Labacania agulone was a carnivorous tyrannosaur from the Lake Cretaceous of Coahuila, Mexico, and its discovery prompted science nerds to name a new subgroup of tyrannosaurs, the Teratophonins, which honestly just sounds like a lousy band name to me. Number 28. Lishulong was a herbivorous sauropodomorph, that is, a predecessor of the giant sauropods from the early Jurassic of Yunnan, China, and its name, which means chestnut tree dragon, proves the science nerds try not to add the suffix long to the name of a Chinese dinosaur challenge is impossible. Number 29. Loki ceratops was an herbivorous ceratopsian, that is, a relative of triceratops, from the Lake Cretaceous of the U.S. state of Montana, and it possessed a distinctive arrangement of horns on its head that are said to have resembled the blades wielded by the most overhyped Marvel character, a aka Loki, aka the Norse god of mischief, trickery, and deception. Number 30. Mincaria was an herbivorous hadrosaur from the Lake Cretaceous of Morocco, and it lived approximately one million years before God told the dinosaurs, Thou cannot build churches? Then thou shalt be smited. And then he dropped a six mile wide space rock on them. Number 31. Musanqua was an herbivorous sauropodomorph from the late Jurassic of Zimbabwe, and its name is Tongan for boy close to marriage, officially making it the most romantically named dinosaur of 2024. Number 32. Chinjosaurus was an herbivorous hadrosaurian, that is, a close relative of the Drew hadrosaurus from the late Cretaceous of southern China, and as only one of two hadrosaurians known from southern China, it validates the soon to be hit saying, the Chinjosaurus stands alone. Number 33. Cuncasaur was an herbivorous sauropod from the late Cretaceous of Spain, and when it was alive, Europe was a huge tropical archipelago not too dissimilar to the Caribbean minus, of course, the fruity cocktails and, of course, Johnny Depp. Number 34. Rio Havenatrix was a carnivorous spinosaur from the early Cretaceous of Spain, and as a spinosaur, it possessed a long crocodile-like snout, bore meat hooks for claws, and was likely pisivorous, that is, had a diet composed predominantly of goldfish crackers, IRL. Number 35. Sasayama Nomis was a tiny herbivorous ceratopsian from the early Cretaceous of Japan, and as its name means gnome from Sasayama, I can't be the only one who wants one of these to guard my garden. Number 36. Cytosaura was an herbivorous sauropod from the late Cretaceous of Argentina, and at 59 to 66 feet long, it was one of the largest members of its usually small sauropod subgroup, the Robotosaurus, which is all the lousy band name like dinosaur groups today. Number 37, Theriosaurus was an herbivorous stegosaur from the middle Jurassic of Morocco, and with a seemingly unique form of plate-like armor, it appears as though this stegosaur was trying to pass as a heavily armored ankylosaur. Number 38, Tiamat was an herbivorous sauropod from the early Cretaceous of Brazil, and it should not be confused with the fictional movie monster of the same name from the film Godzilla Minus Logic. <laughs> I mean Godzilla X Kong, which premiered several months before the dinosaur's description. Number 39. Tian Yunjinsaurus Chang'ai was an herbivorous ankylosaur from the late Cretaceous of northern China, and some paleontologists consider it the same animal as another ankylosaur, Cychania, while others actually respect its autonomy and just consider the two close cousins. Number 40. Tietosaurus was an ornithopod, that is, a member of a diverse group of herbivorous dinosaurs named for the bird-like feet, and it lived during the early Cretaceous of Brazil, where it is notable for being the first ornithopod ever named from the country, as well as being the first dinosaur in this list that I couldn't think of a dumb joke for. Number 41. 
Titanomachia was a notably small herbivorous sauropod from the late Cretaceous of Argentina, and its name refers to the Titanomachy War of Greek mythology and reflects the animal's temporal proximity to the extinction of the sauropods, as well as on avian dinosaurs, which occurred not 65 million years ago, Adam Driver, but around 66.043 million years ago. Number 42. Tyrannosaurus macraeonensis was a carnivorous sister species of T. rex, that is, it was T. rex's closest relative from the late Cretaceous of the U.S. state of New Mexico, and despite predating its celebrity sibling by about 67 million years, it was about the same size, potentially just as haughty. Number 43. Udular Titan was an herbivorous sauropod from the late Cretaceous of Uruguay, and it is known to have lived alongside Uruguay Sucus, one of many tiny, land-dwelling, utterly adorable crocodile-like reptiles from the age of the dinosaurs. Number 44. Urbacodon norelii was a carnivorous troodontid from the late Cretaceous of Inner Mongolia, which is actually a subregion of China, confusing, I know, and its genus name means urbac tooth, with urbac honoring the Uzbek, Russian, British, American, and Canadian scientists that somehow got along long enough to discover this dinosaur. Number 45. Vectidromaeus was a small herbivore from the early Cretaceous of England, and it was a close relative of Hypsilophodon, another small herbivore from the early Cretaceous of England, originally discovered during the reign of the original Undying Queen, i.e. Queen Victoria. Number 46. Yan Beilong was a herbivorous stegosaur from early Cretaceous of China, and it was one of the last known stegosaurs, dinosaurs famous for their tiny brains, which were about as large as the brains of people who consider AI images art. Number 47. Yun Yang Long was a potentially omnivorous oviraptorosaur, i.e. a relative of oviraptor from the early Cretaceous of China, and its name rather adorably means lovebird dragon, after the traditional Chinese belief that the mandarin ducks, known as Yun Yang, mate for life, and because two skeletons of this dinosaur were found in the same rock, Block. Of course, the most exciting fact about Yun Yang Long is 